The arithmetic series is the sum or the total of a certain number of terms in a sequence. Now please notice there are two distinct formulae here, and you will find it more often than not far more convenient to use the calculator in the sequence mode. When you're doing this, please also note that if the instruction algebraic, the algebraic solution appears, then you must show some algebraic workings. You will only get one mark if you show us simply an answer. In this first instance, A is 12 and D is equal to 3. So I can plug it straight into the equation. And I'm after seven terms here. I want to plug that into the calculator again, 147. In the second question, once again, we would have to be told to solve this using algebra, the algebraic method. And what I've identified here, the first term of 20 and difference of 11. Now the 10 terms, I don't know the last term, so I plug it straight into that second equation. And when I do that on my calculator, I end up with 695. In the next one, we'll do that using a calculator method. So in other words, the algebraic instructions don't appear. Um, the first term is 20. The difference, difference is minus 4. I've got to write down the expression first for this sequence. Twenty-four minus four n. Armed um, with that, I turn on my calculator. I make sure that my sum display is on. So I'm in the sequence mode. And then I can type on the explicit 24 minus 4n. And you'll notice there's a little n there. Exit, tick the box, and then press that. So you can see what's happening here. I've got my terms, and I'm after the 12th term. And the sum to 12 terms is negative 24. So, very, very handy, the explicit mode on your calculator. Once I've found an expression for the nth term, 10.5 is my first difference of 0.5, I enter in my calculator in the explicit mode, a and E is equal to 0.5N plus 10. And then, once I've got that selected, hit the column display key and then simply tab down until I find 159. Now you can see that happens when N is equal to 12. or the 12th term.